Hey TC, I'm Lydia Kim, and welcome back to the GM Current. Today we'll be talking about some current news and events and catching up with some of the news. With the recent passing of the United Kingdom's Queen, people all over the world have been mourning her death. Queen Elizabeth's funeral was the world's most watched TV event. The funeral was hosted in Windsor Castle, located in Windsor, England. Did you know that Mr. Boyd has met the Queen in person? If not, be sure to go ask him about it. Or go ask Miss Singer about the upcoming trip to France. For past, current, and future French students, don't miss out on a trip to France for an immersive opportunity with the French language. Miss Singer gives us a few more details. Oh, we are going to Paris um, during spring break, and uh, we're not going to miss any school, which is lovely, uh, from April 1st to April 9th. And we'll be departing from Charlotte. And this is like my 11th trip with students and my last one, because I'm retiring this year. Try to get signed up right away, because there isn't, I mean, there's some time, but there isn't a whole bunch of time. People, if they're really interested, should get a passport. If they don't have one, start right now, because it takes a good six to eight weeks to do that. We have a parent meeting um, on April 5th. I believe that's a Wednesday at five o'clock in my classroom. I'm just super excited. It's gonna be great. We've been, we've been studying in French 3, we've been studying the places we're going to visit in Paris. We're going to go to Versailles. It's going to be great. I can hardly wait. While there's clearly a lot of things going on outside of our local community, several TC students have just recently spent time at the annual Mountain State Fair. A couple of students share with us their experiences from this year. I went to the fair with a bunch of my friends. I went with my sister Abby and Sarah. Allison. Uh, my favorite ride was the Cyclops. Probably the fighter, I don't know, or like there's this one that like just literally just spins you around and that's it. Um, my go-to fair food is probably lemonade. There was churros at the fair this year and I've never seen churros at a fair before and they were so good. Um, I waited in line for the Cyclops and it was worth the wait. So we had this thing where like we would send Abby to go like cut in front of people <laughs> and they'd be like, oh my god, Abby. <laughs> And yeah, <laughs> so we didn't really wait <laughs> that much. A few Robertson students, Kat Lusick, T.R. Newman, and Hayden Inchko, have been helping coach the King Creek swim team in the absence of typical coaches. Two of them let us know what the experience has been like. Well, we've got quite a few kids this year. We got somewhere around 36, and it's very difficult for one person to try to coach all 36 kids. So I use the high schoolers to help with that been on the TC team for four years and I've been on club and summer league and high school teams since I was about three. I really wanted to work with kids and make sure their parents were comfortable if anything would or were to happen to them they would be able to swim and also my swim coach gave me an offer and it sounded really exciting and fun so I like working with him. The season is normally eight weeks long but we got a late start uh, we kind of jumped into the middle of it because they couldn't find a coach for Cane Creek. It's definitely taught me some patience, uh, trying to work with kids and understand what they're trying to say and feeling and also trying to get them to understand what I'm saying is a big barrier because sometimes they get distracted so I have to really work with them on that. Favorite part is definitely just watching their progress. They started almost not being able to swim at all and now they're able to make it 100, 200 meters. It's really exciting and it's fun to watch them go. Just make a lot of progress. I've got a great group of assistant coaches this year and a wonderful group of middle school swimmers. So it's been a lot of fun so far this year and we're looking forward to our first swim meet next week. The boys and girls cross country teams have been working hard this season to keep up with the competition. A couple of members from the team fill us in on the season so far. Um, we've done pretty well. Um, Charlotte Catholic is our main competition in the region. Our conference is not that good this year, but um, we're going to put in a lot of work and try and take down Charlotte Catholic at regionals this year. I think it's been pretty good. We've met all of our goals for team averages and we're around where we expected to be. Um, the day before a meet we'll have a super easy run where we just have fun conversations and um, build good team relations and then we usually have a pasta dinner where we just hang out and have fun with each other the night before the meet. People wouldn't consider cross country to be a team sport typically, but even though you run individually, you do have a team and you all want each other to succeed. Uh, the next meet is this Saturday. It's the Wendy's meet, which is in Charlotte. Uh, my favorite part of cross country is being able to spend so much time with my teammates and just hang out and have a good time. I think my favorite part is just the team itself. I mean, it's a really great like 
throughout the season, it kind of becomes like a family and you get to know everyone really well, so. Finally, Florian Pasolova takes us out into the hallways to connect us with some of you all. What is your least favorite beverage? Dark roasted coffee. Mmm, Fanta, 100%. I, I don't like Coke very much. Probably like the V8, like, like tomato, like smoothies. Straight seltzer water. Probably a serum mint. Soda. Any type of soda. Dr. Pepper. Literally sweet tea, it's so disgusting. Um, if you could give anyone a Hollywood star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, who would it be? My mom, cause like, she's a rock star. Adam Sandler. Snoopy, probably. Probably Reno. Reno Jeter, I mean, he hits bombs. He's a celebrity and an icon around here, so I mean, you might as well have one. Me. All right, Teddy. Fine, Miss Allison, let's do that. Does Dolly Parton have one? Probably Tom Cruise, because he's hot. Me. 100% me. <laughs> and what are you most looking forward to this school year? Um, probably graduating. End of school. I'm really looking forward to my automotive class, because I like to be hands-on with a lot of things. <laughs> summer. Um, summer. Making more memories. The unwelcoming amounts of homework, you know. Weight training next semester, because I'm trying to get big. Orchestra next semester, because I get to hang out with my friends. Thank you all for watching, and we hope that you've had a good week filled with Robertson Spirit. Be sure to keep your eyes out for our Spirit Week projects. Until then, Gia out.